Hello everyone. Welcome back to this video series on Dynamics 365 customer service. In our previous episode, we discussed on knowledge article and how uh, knowledge article is used in customer service model and what are all the life, life cycle of knowledge article and different operations within knowledge article. In this particular episode, we will see some of the supporting functionalities of knowledge articles like subject, category and feedback. We will see how to set up subject and category, what are all the uh, difference between subject and category. And then we will see how to create a feedback for knowledge articles and how to enable this feedback functionality for other standard tables and other custom tables that we create. Okay. With this, we will move to Dynamics 365 applications. And then we will see how to configure subject uh, category and then how to create feedback. Okay. Now I am in customer service admin center app. So I'm here only we need to configure the subject tree and categories. Okay. But before we configure subject and category, I will show you in customer service workspace app where the subject and categories are used. For that, I will open one knowledge article. Subject is something that is available for case table as well as for knowledge article table. So within knowledge article, if we go to summary tab, I can see this subject field. From here, I can select the options, default options that are available. We can set up the subject tree. We can have a parent subject and the child subjects. We will be able to select the parent or the child subjects from here. Okay. And similarly, we also have another concept called categories. We have this category subgrid. We can link categories here. The main difference between subject and categories is like we can link only one subject to a knowledge article, but we can link multiple categories to a knowledge article. And by default, categories is available only for knowledge article table, but the subject is available as a default for case table and knowledge article table. Okay, in customer service model. But the subject is available for a product table and a sales literature table as well in sales model. Okay. And for categories, we can either click on relate category from here inside this subgrid or from the top, we have this associate category button okay any one of the options can be used to link categories with a current knowledge article now we will go to customer service admin center app and we will see how to configure subject tree and categories first we will start start with subjects for that we need to click on case settings from the sitemap and then here i need to click on manage for subjects okay now i will be seeing this subject tree management section this is the place where we can add additional subjects and if I go here, you can see default subject query and service rate. This is actually coming from here only. Sub default subject query and subject. Now, for our demo purpose, I will add another subject here. Okay, maybe issue. This is a parent subject, and below this parent subject, I will create some child subjects also. While creating parent, I will click on this add button in the top right but if i want to add the child subjects into it i need to click on these three dots and from here i need to click on add broadband issue so here you can see the parent subject is automatically selected and you can see broadband issue is shown as a child subject and again if i want to create another hierarchy i need to click on these three dots and then if i add another subject then it will become a child subject of this broadband issue okay but i don't want to uh, have three levels i will just create another uh, subject for issue itself okay for that i will click add from here set up box issue okay now I have added one parent subject and two child subjects. Okay. With this, I will quickly refresh this knowledge article. Now you can see the new subject is also available. Issue, broadband issue, and setup box issue. Okay. Now I have the option to select the parent subject as well, or I can also choose the child subject also anything is possible for now okay 
but in case if i want to restrict my users to select the parent one only the user should be able to select only the child subjects then we have another setting here users can only select subjects without children in the subject if i enable this then the users will not be able to select the parent subject they will be able to select only the child subjects i will refresh my knowledge article again now if i click on this issue system will not allow me to select only if i select the child subject then only system will allow me to select okay so with this we can configure multiple subjects in our system based on our business requirement okay now we will go to categories so for categories we need to select this knowledge under agent experience and then we need to select this categories here you can see there are some default categories already available and from knowledge article also if i try to associate a category i will only see the options that are already available okay now what we will do right we will create another uh, category and then we will try to link it you can create issue as a parent category and then similar to subject here also i will create two child categories broadband issue here i need to select the parent category as issue and i will again create another another category and here also i will select issue as my parent category now if i click on this hierarchy icon for my parent category i will see these two child categories also from here similarly we can create multiple hierarchy levels okay. now what i will do right i will again refresh this page and i will try to link the new category that we have created so as i said earlier we can use this associate category uh, button at the top or we can also use this relate category okay you can see the parent category is also visible for me and similarly i can select the child category also as i said earlier compared to subject the additional benefit of category is we can relate multiple categories within a knowledge article okay now what i will do right i will associate both the child categories here all the categories that i am relating here will be shown inside this categories grid okay so that is the main difference so here you can only set only one subject but here in categories you can have multiple categories okay similar to subject this categories can also be uh, set up for other standard and uh, custom tables but for that we might need to do some additional steps we need to create one uh, intersect table and then we need to create two end to end relation between the uh, intersect table to this category table and to the other custom table or standard table that we are uh, using okay maybe in future i will also publish another video uh, to see the step by step process on how we can use these categories for other standard tables and custom tables okay for now uh, we have uh, seen like how to uh, create subject tree and categories in the standard way and how to use the subjects and uh, categories within knowledge article okay now we will quickly move to feedbacks whenever we publish any knowledge article it will be used by the uh, internal employees or internal users or internal agents and it will be used by the external customers okay whenever we publish the article to our uh, power pages portal from there the customers will be viewing it and from there they would be able to give feedback and similarly the internal employees also can tell you after uh, reading some knowledge article they can tell you like i am happy with this particular uh, knowledge article i would rate uh, four out of five for this knowledge article or i would rate uh, nine out of ten for this particular knowledge article so whenever you hear any internal feedback you can capture it within your knowledge article if you go to this analytics tab 
here you have this feedback grid okay from here we can create a new uh, feedback record feedback from service agent one and we need to set the regarding a uh, knowledge article okay so this is my knowledge article broadband issue for this only i'm going to create the feedback okay i will set the regarding accordingly and then source can be internal or portal so internal is something given by the internal employees and whenever a customer gives the feedback from portal it will be captured automatically as a portal source okay for now i will go with the internet and then we have this uh, rating section this is the place where we need to enter the actual rating given by the employee and this rating functionality is very much dynamic with the help of this we can capture the rating out of 5 or out of 10 or out of 100 or whatever the rating given by the employee we don't have to be very specific but the only thing is we need to capture the minimum and maximum rating correctly for example if the employee is rating 4 out of 5 then we need to keep the minimum rating as 1 and maximum rating as 5 and the actual rating that is 4 given by the employee should be entered in the rating field so which means the employee has rated 4 out of 5 in case if the employee has rated a 9 out of 10 then we need to have the maximum as 10 and the actual uh, rating as 9 okay now we will save this particular feedback and similarly i will create another feedback feedback from service agent 2 and again this is also for broadband issue knowledge article and this employee has rated uh, 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 okay in that case i will keep the minimum and maximum as 1 and 10 and rating as 9 and i will save this particular feedback and the moment i save this you can see the normalized rating field is automatically calculated okay and this is calculating the percentage value out of 100 okay now i will just go to my knowledge article and i can see uh, two feedbacks and i also have this average rating field which is a roll-up field if i click on recalculate i will be knowing the total rating for this particular knowledge article and it is 82 percent and here it is giving the normalized rating value even though two different employees have given different rating and on the different scale but the normalized or the average rating that you are seeing here the 82 percentage will have the normalized rating it will always consider this as a percent of 100 okay and uh, we saw this knowledge article for feedback now i will show you like how to enable this feedback for other tables okay for that we can go to this maker portal power apps maker portal then first i will show you the knowledge article table knowledge article and if I go to the table properties and expand the advanced options, here I can see this particular flag is already enabled for knowledge article, can be linked to feedback. Okay, so whenever this flag is enabled for any table, the particular table will be enabled for feedback. Okay, now maybe we will just check any other table, the case table, properties of case table. And for case table, it is not enabled. Now, what we will do, right? We will enable this particular flag and we will save this. Now, I am showing you for the standard case table. In case if you have created any custom table and for that, if you want to enable this feedback functionality, you just need to enable this flag from table properties. Okay. And once this is saved, we will see how this uh, feedback is used in case table. Okay. okay now it's saved before uh, continuing we will publish this table and while it is publishing we will go to customer service workspace app i will open one of the case record okay so currently uh, we are using enhanced full case form what we will do right we will add one new tab 
to this particular case form and then we will add the feedback subgrid over here okay and then we will be able to add the feedbacks to this case record okay yeah it is now published currently i am doing all the modifications from my default solution but it is always a better approach to create a solution and then make your configurations within the solution okay and within case i will go to forms and the form name is enhanced full case form this is the form within this form i will add a new tab and i will add a subgrid to capture the feedbacks for this case record It is taking some time. Yeah, I will add one column tab. I will name this tab as feedback. And within this tab, I will add a subgrid to include my feedback. Here you need to select show related records and then you need to choose feedback regarding so this option will be showing for you only after enabling the case table for feedback uh, similarly if you are doing it for any custom table and from table properties after you enable the table for feedback then you will be seeing this option otherwise you will not see this option here okay so we will choose uh, feedback regarding then i will click on done Okay, so once everything is done, I will save and publish. Okay, it is saved and published. I will go to customer service workspace, uh, refresh it once. Now I can see my feedback tab over here and from here we can create new feedbacks so similarly uh, similar to knowledge article now case table is also enabled for feedback the same way we can create feedbacks for our case record also I hope you are uh, clear with this topic and in this video we actually covered uh, subjects categories in detail and then we saw the feedback functionality and how to enable this feedback for other standard table or custom table Maybe in future video, I will uh, show you how we can set up the subject and categories also for custom table. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. We will meet in the next video.